recent. <laughs> What's with the shocked look on your face? What is on that piece of paper? Rebecca, you're not going to believe what she did. Oh my God, Teresa has one of the pages that proves we emailed the tabloids the truth about Ethan's paternity. Gwen, don't panic. Don't panic. Oh my God, Mother, she knows what we did, and as soon as she tells Ethan, I'm going to lose him. You're both wrong. Sheridan couldn't have killed my sister, Rachel. You lied to Martin, and he believed you. Now, that's a uh, made-for-TV ending, but that's not the case. Yeah, McCrane, stop torturing her. If you want the truth, she got it. Tell me something, Catherine. Are all those quotes true? Is honesty the best policy? Will the truth set you free? I got a new one for you. How does it feel to know your daughter Sheridan killed your sister, Rachel? Saints and sweet cherubim, hear my plea. Keep Beth out long enough for me to let Louise know that Martin is his son with Sheridan. Help me. Help me right the wrongs of my demon seed daughter and stop the evil before the evil stops the truth about money from finally coming out. Help me, angels. Get out of my way, you heavenly hit squad. Don't you understand? I have to get to Beth to warn her that Louis and Sheridan are on their way to get Marty. Is she ever gonna forgive me for not believing you about Marty? I can't think about that right now, Louise. Just get me to Beth's so I can get my son back. was shock. Yeah, he was in shock, all right. Shocked that Rachel rejected him. What? Imagine. Great Alistair Crane rejected by a woman. And unthinkable, isn't it? At least to Alistair it was. Shut up. Oh, now you want me to shut up, huh? Oh, well, you see Big Al here. He couldn't believe it or accept it. I told you to shut up. You see, Catherine, after Rachel had dumped him, Alistair decided that if he couldn't have her, then no one else could. So he kidnapped her, and he faked her death. And then years later, he used what he'd learned to fake your death when we left Harmony together. No. My sister was alive when you married me. And if you call what her life became living, shut your sanctimonious mouth. If Rachel were alive, she would have contacted me. She would have contacted our family. We would have helped her. Catherine, Rachel tried desperately to contact you. She wanted to warn you against getting involved with a creep like Alistair. But he had her kidnapped, and he held her prisoner at the Crane Lake cabin for years. Years? This cabin? The same cabin you threatened to send me to when I first came back to Harmony? Shooting Alistair got you off the hook. Rachel wasn't as lucky. Martin, how come? You know all this. I found canceled checks, invoices for deliveries to the cabin. You knew 
that she was in prison and you did nothing about it? I, I tried. I wanted to. Alistair threatened to kill my entire family. You know, I hated having to choose, but... I... I, I understand. So... My sister knew the monster that you are. And for that, you made her life a living hell. Gerichel wanted for nothing. Oh, only to be free of you, the man that she despised with a... Oh, Rachel loved me. She just needed a little time to realize it. Oh, Rachel. I'm so sorry. But you need to know that Sheridan didn't do this to you. Alistair did this to you. He faked your death. He imprisoned you. And all these years, we all thought that her losses would turn you into the monster that you are today, but you've always been a monster. You're heartless. And I'm gonna kill you for what you did to Rachel. I will kill you! Teresa, you look like you're in shock. I am. I was so afraid this would happen. I was so afraid that somehow the truth would come out, but I never in a million years would think that a professional sneak like you would be to blame for it. Mother, how could you be so stupid? Why in the world did you not destroy the evidence when I asked you to? Do you understand that I'm going to lose Ethan now and it's all your fault? Honey, trust me. You are not going to lose anything. Why? Because you've, like, discovered how to turn back time? J just follow me, right? Oh my God, what are you doing? Teresa, I believe you have something that is mine. Oh, whoa, whoa, Rebecca, what are you doing here? And why aren't, you're supposed to be at home with Jane, Gwen. Yeah, that was the plan, but here we are. Yeah, Teresa, that is mine. I want it back. Right. Like I'm gonna keep what you did a secret, Rebecca. I have been waiting so long to find something to use against you, and my God, this? is the mother load. Heavenly hosts, hear my heartfelt plea. Keep Beth conked out long enough for Louise to get here and to get Marty, please. You tell your friends to leave me alone. I'll repent later, which is honor. Oh. Oh, hell's bells. What now? Oh, no. Oh, no. The light of love and hope is starting to destroy me. Oh, if this continues, I'll fade away faster than coupling did on NBC. Whoever has summoned this heavenly hit squad has to be stopped. I can't disappear now. I have a daughter to raise. Maybe, maybe Endora can help me with this sticky wicket. Endora, Endora, can you hear me? Mummy needs your help. You have to find out. Who is praying for Heaven's A-Team and stop them? Otherwise, we're going to lose our chance to tear Louise and Sheridan apart and... And your poor old mum is going to be done for. Endora, it's Mummy. Can you hear me? Help Mummy, Endora. Help me. Someone in Harmony is praying for angelic intervention. You have to stop them. Stop them before I vanish without a trace. Please hurry, Louise. Get me to Beth's as fast as you can. I just had a horrible feeling that I'm never going to see Marty again. Teresa, that is not yours. It's mine. Not anymore, it's not. Honey, can we just go? No, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? 
Rebecca, why do you want this piece of paper? I told you because it's mine, along with all these other papers, and I want it back. Oh, this is your garbage flying around all over here? You know what? Actually, it's not garbage. It's grounds for me to get my daughter back. Gwen, my God, you knew about this? Well, of course she did, Ethan. Why do you think she was trying to get you out of here? She doesn't want you to see this. Um, if you will just listen to me and let me explain. No way. There's nothing you can say that'll explain this. Ethan, I am so sorry. I am so ashamed, and I am so sorry. Gwen, stop talking. Why? Mother, what is the point in stonewalling now? Ethan has seen what you were supposed to destroy. You have ruined everything. That's right. I'm going to use this to get Jane back. I hate you, Alistair. You tortured my sister. You killed her. You dumped her body in an unmarked Stop train. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, Catherine. Are you all right? Why attack me? Sheridan killed Rachel, not me. You're a liar. Sheridan would never do such it a thing. It is the truth, Catherine. The same truth you insisted on knowing. Both Martin and I told you to drop it, let it go. But no, no, not you. You're so much like your sister, Rachel. I mean, she... She always wanted one thing, but insisted on another. My love just wasn't enough for her. No, 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 no. Not the clothes, not the, not the jewels, not the trips. She always wanted more. Always. Alistair, why can't you be more romantic? Alistair, why can't I spend more time with my friends? Alistair, why don't you do more for people? God, the bitch had everything. But she was still insufferable. She didn't have everything, Alistair. She didn't have her freedom. Well, she could have had that, too. I mean, why? Why did she always complain about me smothering her? All she had to do was marry me. But no, Rachel. Never left well enough alone. Never. And now she's dead. She's dead because Sheridan killed her. Hurry, Louise. The sooner we get to Beth's, the sooner we'll get my son back. Damn roads closed up ahead. We're gonna have to take a detour. Oh no, no! First the fog, and now this. I can't believe this. It's like there's a conspiracy. No, it's keeping not us a conspiracy. Marty. It's evil. I told you that. Oh. Sheridan, I'm telling you, it's trying to keep us apart. Oh, help me, Andorra! I can't fight these angels alone. You have to find out. Who is praying for heavenly help and stop them before I fade into oblivion? Endora, help! Endora, stop whoever is praying! Stop the evil from scuffing Louise. Let him get here so we can get the scoop on Marty. Have to stop Mother from praying. You must stop Mother.
Teresa, this isn't gonna get you squat. Wait, what's on those papers? <sighs> oh my God, what? Seriously, what is wrong with you? Donkeys? And who is this guy? His name is Ramon. I met him on a trip to Costa Rica. I suppose it could have been worse. No, that's pretty bad. No judge is ever gonna let an innocent baby live in the same house with a woman who would pose for pictures like that. Oh, get over yourself, Teresa. Jane is with Gwen and Ethan now, and they are keeping her. They're gonna keep her forever until the judge grants them permanent custody. Okay, um, excuse us for just a second. Come here. You swore to me that you destroyed all the evidence that exposed the truth about Ethan's true paternity to the tabloids, okay? So what in the world were all these papers doing in that box? Well, I just wanted to get rid of them, too. I mean, it is really a horrible angle on me. Please tell me you shredded the evidence. Mm -hmm. Shredded and burned. What about the disc? Smashed and burned, just like you wanted. Okay, thank God. Thank God, Mother, because if Teresa ever got hold of that disc, I would lose Ethan forever. Sheridan have killed Rachel if you were keeping my sister a prisoner at the cabin. She couldn't. I knew you were lying. Catherine, don't. Don't what? Martin doesn't want you to set yourself up to more shock and uh, more despair. But I'll tell you exactly how your darling daughter killed your sainted sister. One night, Rachel, uh, was able to escape from the cabin, but instead of running away like you did, she uh, decided to come to the mansion to teach me a lesson. <laughs> me, <laughs> Alistair Crane. No one teaches me a lesson. Right, you go. <laughs> well, anyway, somehow she broke into the mansion, came up to my bedroom, and then started to physically assault me, so I tried to stop her. Come on, you hit her like you used to hit she Catherine. She threatened to kill me. Oh. She threatened to kill me. I was fighting her off. And then little Sheridan came in to my defense. No, Sheridan, she wouldn't do that. She couldn't do that. But she did, Catherine. In fact, Sheridan recalled what happened that entire evening. I mean, she, she said it at her cottage not too long ago. You were there, remember? She thought that she had stabbed you. What she saw was this crazy woman trying to kill her father. She was just a little girl. So she took action. She picked up a letter opener and she thrust it right into Rachel time and time again. Before I knew it, Rachel was dead. No. Oh, my God, please. Oh, God, nothing. God cannot help you. Your daughter, Sheridan, killed Rachel. She's a murderer. A murderer. Help, Mommy and Dora. I'm about to vanish without a trace. Eradicate evil. Let truth and justice prevail. Beth? <gasps> Hello, Mother. Goodbye, Mother. Endora, Endora, you did it. You saved mommy. Now, you must stop Sheridan and Luis from getting to Bess before I do. I repeat, you must stop Sheridan and Luis getting to Bess before I do. <laughs>
Sheriff, Dad have killed Rachel. Mark. Be strong, Catherine. You have to stay strong. Oh, being strong or weak is not going to change what happened. Your darling daughter killed your sister. No. Yes, she did. She not only rid me of this Herodin, she knew that she killed to protect her father. But even at that early age, she also knew that she committed murder. For God's sake, stop, Alan. Shut up. I remember that uh, Sheridan looked down at Rachel's body and with the dim lighting in my bedroom and the blonde hair and the family resemblance, you know, she thought she had killed you. You know, you, Catherine, yeah. Can you imagine a little child believing that she actually killed her own mother? I wonder, Sheridan has always been so fragile. I mean, what child thinks that they committed matricide? Stop. Will you stop? Get you get out. made Catherine Keep suffer out of this. Keep out of it. If you'd been strong enough to be the wife that I wanted you to be, or if you were strong enough to be the mother that Julian and Sheridan needed you to be, you wouldn't have run off and lived in sin with the help here. And Sheridan wouldn't have had to go through all of the despair that she went through for her entire life. And it's all your fault, Catherine. It is all your fault. All of it! Marty. Call for uh, backup. See no, if we get another no, call right now. No, Luis, it's gonna take way too long. All right. Well, what the hell else are we gonna do? I think we're a little far to walk to best. Who's walking? I'm running. Nothing is gonna keep me from my son. Oh, sure. It's... Sneaky old crone. Letting me think that I smothered you to death and then whacking me with a bottle. Why were we fighting in the first place? Oh no. Luis. He's on his way here to see Marty. I gotta get rid of you before you come to and spill your guts to Luis about Marty. your little plan to tell Luis all about Marty. I'd kill you now and put you in the basement, but I've decided to let you live till after Luis leaves. So, it's into the hall closet you go. I have to be. 
be Louisa Sheridan to Bess House. You all right? Huh? Oh, man, that gash on your head isn't looking so good. Maybe we gotta get you to the hospital. No, no, Louise, I've got to get to Marty. Come on. Oh, it's times like these I miss flying my broomstick. We're almost to bed. Soon I'll have my child back. Smother you with that diaper you're wearing, Mother. Now that I've shut Mother up, it's time to focus on Lanny and Louise. I can't wait to be a family with him and Marty. Well, Louise is at least coming alone, so I do not have to deal with Sheridan. sense now. What does? That night, Sheridan was sleepwalking. She attacked me, saying, you should be dead because I killed you. And then later at the cottage, she remembered everything that Alistair was just saying. That's why she thought I'd have scars on my back, because she thought she'd stab me. But she hadn't stabbed me. I wanted to spare you ever knowing this. That's why I didn't tell you about the gazebo that Alistair had me build it so we could you know, bury her under it. It's why I begged you not to come here, so you'd never know. Well, she does know. Pandora's box has been opened. And now everyone will know that Sheridan is a murderer. Ethan, why don't... Uh... You escort your wife and me back to the mansion. Oh, and, um, buenas noches, Teresa. Sleep well in the barrio. Knowing that Jane is with Ethan and Gwen, where she is safe and happy. I'm gonna get her back, Rebecca. There's no way I will ever let Gwen raise my daughter. You really are your own worst enemy, Teresa. I mean, threatening me is... Yet another reason why the judge is ultimately going to award custody of Jane to Ethan and me. Stop. Let's just stop here before things get out of control, okay? Why don't we all just go home? You disgust me, Gwen. You come to my house and steal my daughter from me. And then you drop her off with the nanny so you can come out here and help your mother dispose of her porn. There is nothing pornographic about being kind to animals. Do you believe this, Ethan? Teresa, yes, I know. Just let's go home. Let's get some rest, please. Uh, why don't you two go on ahead? I'm going to pick up all these papers. We don't want anyone to get the wrong idea. Make sure you get rid of everything, okay? I will. you'd left. I know you did. So does this disc have anything to do with why you and Gwen were out here tonight? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Don't lie, Rebecca. Gwen wouldn't have left my daughter all alone her first night at the mansion unless she had a really good reason. So what is it? 
Is what's on this disc more important to Gwen than Ethan and his child? I wasn't expecting you to. I thought you were police. Oh, surprise, surprise. Tabitha, what are you doing here? Oh, and Dora had a play date with Marty. What, at this time of night? Oh. Oh, right. Yes. Well, it's a sleepover. I arranged it with Edna the night I babysat Marty. Where's Andorra? Who? Your daughter, Andorra? Oh. 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 I, I must have left her at home. Oh. Oh, it's a good thing Kay's there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll have Mother call to reschedule it. Oh, where is Edna, by the way? She's just um, all tied up. Oh, she's tied one on again, has she? Look, I'm expecting Louise, so I would appreciate it if you would just call Mother and reschedule the play date with Marty and Andorra. Oh, of course, dear, but first, you and I have to have a talk. You need a rest? No, no, I'm okay. I'll rest later, once I get Marty back home. Come on. You know, Teresa, it's bad enough that you are petty and selfish. But if you add paranoid to it, it even makes you more disagreeable. Why don't you answer the question, Rebecca? What's on the disc? Nothing that has anything to do with Gwen. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gwen, but I can't destroy this disc. It's my only memento of our first big mother-daughter finagle. <laughs> Besides, you never know when something like this could come in handy. So, I have to find some place to hide it where no one will ever find it. <sighs> Especially not Teresa. What are you talking about, Alistair? Why does anyone have to know what Sheridan did? Well, I can't keep a lid on this little secret now, Catherine. I mean, thanks to your insatiable curiosity, the world's gonna know that Sheridan's a murderer. You're just saying that to torment me. you damn straight. You keep more secrets in the Kremlin. If you want the truth of Rachel's death to stay under wraps, it will. And don't stand there and pretend otherwise, Alistair. Martin's right. No one has to know what Sheridan did if you don't want them to. Yeah, I am flattered that two of my most ardent detractors imbue me with so much vast power. That's true. I, uh, I could keep this little revelation we've had here tonight a secret. I could if I wanted to, but I don't. Because... I want Sheridan to know that by you helping her, you just made her life worse. No, Alistair. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And thanks to... <laughs> thanks to your meddling, <laughs> Sheridan's dream of having a life with Luis and uh, Marty, never gonna happen, never come true. You see, your daughter will be tried and convicted of murder and spend the rest of her days in prison. And there's nothing you or anyone else can do about it. Okay, we have to get to Beth's. We have to get Marty away from her before she knows that we know the truth. Come on. Um. Tabitha, I really don't have time to talk right now. I don't have much time myself these days, being a single mother. I'm sure you're a star for adult conversation as I am. Actually, it's all I can do to shut Mother up sometimes. Oh, that's a pity. Because I have the juiciest bit of gossip to tell you. I heard it from a nurse I know who works at the hospital in the DNA lab. Oh? Yes. It seems that our dear Sheridan had her blood tested against Marty's again. She what?
is that the DNA expert told her that she is Marty's mother. Oh, my God. Oh, that's absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? But it seems that Luce and Sheridan believe that because it seems they're on their way now, even as we speak. <laughs> Sheridan's with Louise? Yes, that's the dish. Now, don't get me wrong, I adore Sheridan. But everyone knows <laughs> that she is very highly strung. Well, I mean, with Alistair trying to kill her all the time, who'd blame her? Nevertheless, it's absolutely absurd that Louise should be drawn into such a melodrama. Everyone, the whole town knows that, that Marty is your child with the incredible hunk. Right. What am I going to do? Louise and Sheridan are going to be here any moment. Beth has got to leave now. It's going to be too late. I have to get to Marty. I have to get my son back. I got to get Marty up and get out of town before Luis and Sharon get here. Mother, you swore to me that you destroyed the disc. What's on that disc? What do you really want? To not tell the world that Sharon killed my sister. You.